he hails right here from Atlanta, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and give it up to the hilarious Mr. Ronnie Jordan! Hey! What's up, ladies? How y'all doing? This y'all shit. We're getting loose now. This When y'all get drunk, this y'all song get down. As soon as y'all get out the goddamn shower, y'all do. I get butt naked to this shit. This is the best song in the world. All the niggas like it, but they trying to act hard right now. They like, that shit go right there. I'm gonna play the whole, y'all acting tight in here, man. This pandemic over. It's a line outside. It's some bullshit shirts in here. Come on, goddamn. This shit look like a Burlington Co Factor convention in this bitch. This shit. <laughs> Y'all better loosen up. It's too tight. Y'all too tight to be in goddamn Cobb County. Anybody can go to jail tonight. You see this shit? Y'all better live this shit like it's over with after this, goddamn it. They gonna let this many niggas be in Cobb without arresting something. Look at this nigga with the Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis suit. I mean, look at it. Cut it off. That nigga look like both the Bronner brothers. What's up? Clean as hell, bro. How y'all doing? If you don't have AIDS, make some noise. If you don't got the AIDS, I gotta get y'all to participate a little bit. Y'all ain't here acting bougie as hell. Like y'all just be, like y'all wasn't locked up in the house for eight months with your girl. Anybody fuck with their kids? Anybody hate their kids right now? Shout out to the people who's sick of their goddamn kids. Y'all ain't, okay, cool. Y'all grown, y'all got grown kids. Shout out to everybody who got grown up kids. We your kids who grown, teenagers and up. They are recording their mixtape in your goddamn house right the fuck now. You know that? That nigga got money out on your bed, standing on your bed, like, getting to the Guala goddamn. That nigga little brother got the phone, like, boy, you fucking this shit up, man. <laughs> they got money all up his arms and shit. Mama don't know I got this. Mama don't know I got <laughs> I'd rather see kids rapping than, oh, oh, shit, oh, shit, I almost lost it. Almost killed the whole club. This section got scared as a bitch. Woo, child. See, you better enjoy yourself. You almost died. I got scared as fuck, man. I'm like, ooh, bitch, if I roll my ankle, I live here now. <laughs> Couldn't nobody come pick my ass up, nigga. Y'all niggas will look at me like a man problem. God damn, I don't know. I know what we gonna do with them. It's, gotta get them downstairs. I don't know what the plan is. No, this is a ghetto club. They don't hate all the clubs. The chords for the TVs, but fuck what the DJ got going. They just, just plug it all up in and let them see it. Okay. Anyway, shout out to everybody on the date with the date night people that date night. Y'all don't look happy at all. That did not sound inspirational. <laughs> everybody on the day was like, yep, yeah, trying to fuck. Y'all do all this bullshit. Oh, we suck some pussy, god damn! Shout out to all the dudes sucking pussy correctly. Yeah, look, I see it's a lady clapping here, yeah. yeah. She, her nigga ain't even here, nigga. Her nigga just stay. Okay, there you go. He said that's why I'm like, y'all, but I suck that pussy. And they had that suck that pussy green. He just linked in his chair. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make a pass out every time. Got to change them sheets, but she's skating there. Well, I'm gonna tell you. Shout out to the women who don't drink water and thank y'all spurters, bitch. That is Mountain Dew on your bed. This squirt tangy as a bitch. Y'all, you gotta have a good pH balance calling yourself a spurter, goddamn. I'm just, <laughs> that shit hit home. Look at everybody evaluating their life, really, bitch? Look at this table. She looked at me like, is it not on this? I think it's user friendly. I don't know. Y'all good? Y'all look saved as hell right here. This is goddamn the Clark sisters over this motherfucker. <laughs> there are no Jesus. There are no Jesus. You can tell who went to church a little bit back in the day. Shout out to all y'all healers lost to shit. Like, what is that? Remember that goddamn clock sister used to come on B103 in the morning? With Larry Tinsley. <laughs> Larry Tinsley, creepy as fuck on the radio on Sunday morning. 
He sounded like his dick out. You like that? I thought you would. <laughs> What's wrong with Larry, bro? <laughs> that nigga sound like he just pulled his dick out of bitch. Just like, past the wife. You like that, bitch? I thought you would. That was the Clark sisters with. This stage so little, I feel like I'm on the show Wipeout, nigga. I feel like this nigga trying to make me fall. Let's see if the husky nigga falls down and down. Shout out to One time all the married niggas in here. Where y'all at? Married niggas, where y'all at? Make some noise. Represent. They don't want to say nothing. I see the short sets, nigga. I know you're married. Nigga you're trying to hide. I see them Burlington little sets. You don't get to the level of marriage, you've been married so long, you get out of the shower, your girl, your girl got your whole outfit on the bed for you, bitch, what? You don't know that's what I want to put on? <laughs> you sit next to the outfit in your draw, she don't know what the fuck she talking about. <laughs> Let me go and put them little sandals on and shit. Everybody in here look like they be going to Chastain Park with a cooler. It's a concert outside crowd. It is, man. That's what fucking pandemic took from us. A live venues, live concerts. I'm glad shit opened it back up. Cause shit was getting sad. The last year it was a sad year, man. It was work. You know, all the all the adults complained about depression and shit. Imagine your kids. They can't be around other kids. They want to marry your grown ass all day. My kids were sad as shit in the house. Ain't nothing sadder than seeing a five year old and a seven year old doing PE in front of the laptop in the living room. That's some bullshit. <laughs> They had a living room crying. <laughs> <laughs> Screen saver kept popping up. So. Shout out to everybody who get my Joe's Rescue out dumb. I ain't, I ain't, it's, too, it's 2021, man. I, I, shout out to all the fat niggas that made it this year, nigga. We ain't got time. They made a whole disease to kill fat people and old people, and I made it, bitch. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> I'm an arrogant fat nigga. I watch 600 pound life, butt ass niggas standing in front of TV like I'm fine in here, man. I look better than all these fuck niggas, man. You crazy in here. <laughs> that, show, that show take you to all the emotions, don't it? As a fat person, we watching it trying to see, bitch, I ain't that big. Let me make sure my head. <laughs> Nigga looking at my leg and making sure that they <laughs> Niggas have a whole extra book bag on the bottom of their leg and skin. God damn, you got a jazz port worth of juice? Damn! That shit take you through every emotion. They be sad at first. They always have, when they have black women on there, that shit fuck me up. Cause they be, they had their hair done, nails done, they got a little attitude, but they 750. They got a man and shit, this nigga wash her creases every day. This nigga do this shit every day and she talking shit to him. You don't do shit for me. I'm like, I know this bitch ain't got no attitude. Y'all ain't seen that one where that girl cussed that boy out? This nigga just got through digging up in that big good shit. She laying in front of the fan drying off, cussing him out. He's sitting there, I do everything you ask for. You don't do shit for me. I said, okay. I'll let this bitch meal do for two weeks. You think you got me fucked up. I'll post a wall on that bitch and close the door. Watch, bitch. Watch a mold grow on your big nasty ass, ass. cheese filled motherfucker. He ain't even treat me bad, I'm doing this shit under your meat, bitch. I lost two watches, you got me fucked up. <laughs> bitch, my, you don't do shit. Bitch, you don't do shit. Do this, bitch, do this. You can't do this. You can't. Because you're you stupid. I'm sick of you. <laughs> I just want that nigga to go off so bad. <laughs> You start rap battling that bitch. <laughs> she cussed him out, man. I felt bad for the dude. Then they show you her backstory, make you feel even sorry for her. Cause she always got her nails up because she got like her OnlyFans, but she got on like the foot page or some shit. <laughs> she always tell you the origin story when she got fat. It was it was 2011 and my brother died and I just stayed in the house and kept eating and ordering, just eating and ordering. <laughs> I just kept eating. If Jeremy just brought me whatever I want to, he said they to a show, did you? That's your stupid ass up. That's why you're on gushy detail, because you dumb. <laughs> you feeling sorry for this whole little situation. 
Then they cut to commercial. I don't know if y'all seen this episode. The big chick, you feel sorry for them because they so big, can't get out of the house. Cut to the big chick. They had her in the bed. I don't know if y'all seen this episode. She had a piece of cardboard on her chest. And then she had all the stuff to make like chicken fingers in the bed. This bitch had a real deep fryer on. I'm not even playing. She, you seen that? Am I playing? I'm not bullshitting, right? She had a deep fryer with grease in it. Egg washed flour, milk batter. That bitch was just dropping fingers on her throat. I'm like, what the fuck? Sorry. Then they show her kids. We didn't even know she had kids. Them kids bad nutrition as fuck. You can see two little ten year olds with some drawers on, skinny as hell. Mama, can we have some of your bad chicken that you be making? Or at least an onion ring, please. We so hungry, mama. You always keep all the chicken that you be frying on your whole chest. The boyfriend don't never let us have none because he said they your chicken. She just be like, hell! She just put two onion rings on their plate. Thank you so much, mama, for sharing with us. These two onion rings. <laughs> she got to lose some weight, then you get to the hospital. Doctor, now this nigga look like a Keebler elf. He look he like he live in a tree, goddamn. This nigga, how he the in charge of the fat people, and he fat? They come in and crunch the door, you're in her plug. <laughs> he just be looking at her chart, shot and tree shot. If you weigh 753 pounds, you were supposed to lose 36 pounds in two weeks. Let's weigh you. She's like, I've been doing the program like they say it. So she let get on that motherfucker. <laughs> Commercial. Fuck, man, I gotta go to work. <laughs> Come to find out she done lost only three pounds and shit. Why are you not doing the program? It is showing me you do not want the surgery and you want to die today. Your heart is inside your body with grease and juice on it. Like, get off of me, please. This is your heart with grease on it. I ain't what you said, Dr. Now. No, you can't. No, I Shout out to everybody who got a friend that's still rapping. Anybody got that friend? Saddest shit in the world, ain't this nigga 44? He 43 time I come to the album release party. No, nigga! You're not going to your auntie backyard to listen to the aux chord. No. Your son got an album coming out. Your son just graduated, nigga. Let's watch his shit. Anyway. Thank you for everybody who's laughing at you. If you haven't laughed by now, you're dead inside. Um, it's not up to me to tickle you for the pay that they pay me. I'm kind of done already, but uh... <laughs> Black people will pay nothing for a comedy show and be like, um... <laughs> so it's like some smoke or something gonna come? Or like, what are pyrotechnics? Some of y'all ain't even the best one at your goddamn job, nigga. There's three people in here right now can't even clock in because you ain't got the card yet. Look at the niggas, look at the niggas on temp server, like, fuck you, nigga, yeah. I'm sitting there talking about what you would do. If I get the card, I'd be here early as hell sitting up. No, you want to shut up. Shout out to all the married dudes for real. Shout out to all the married women that give head. That is my favorite shit now. Yeah, man, I've been married. Me and my wife, we just celebrated our 16th wedding anniversary this year. Married 16 years. Yes. Yes. Funny part about being married 16 years, I'm at the age where I don't give a shit. I'm going to be honest every time. My wife... I let her say everything she don't like about me. That's cool. I'm gonna fix all that. I just got one thing. She's like, "What you want?" I'm like, "I want more head. Man. That's it. Just, I want aggressive hooker, intentional head. Goddamn it, on a regular basis. Thank you very much. Good night. That's it." She's like, all right. Okay, ladies, y'all better get y'all niggas head. This is Atlanta. Them city girls be falling out the sky. They can tell when they got to ride a lawnmower and responsibilities. I promise you. They not walking around the club looking for niggas. They be in Lowe's and Home Depot looking for Clarence's and Melvin's. Be careful, you go in there with your fellow. Don't let him look nice. Don't let him have that responsibility jogging suit on like all old niggas got the top and bottom jogging suit with the chest hair and the two necklaces. Them little hoes fall out the sky, nigga. I remember I went to go walk, look at some ceiling fans. A bitch just fell out the sky and just started sucking my dick. Period! I was like, oh shit. Where this bitch came from, baby? I'm looking at ceiling fan pictures. 
Shout out to everybody who got a big booty now, but you ain't had one in high school. Y'all been going crazy on Facebook. The funny part is, y'all got the nice, the thick body now, but y'all still like responsible and go to church. So it's like you trying to do a thought pose, but you got like them goddamn elementary school teacher Sanders on and shit. Oh, look at she got some, <laughs> she got some rock ports on. Oh, trying to thot it up with rock ports. That's cute. Ain't nothing funny than seeing somebody posing and you can see the knee brace outlined in their jeans. You're like, hell no. <laughs> Facebook lets you know everybody's relationship status immediately. It's not the single and married, not that. You can always tell when like a dude did something in his relationship on Facebook, if y'all never noticed. If a dude's relationship is going fine, his Facebook profile picture is just him by himself. If he fucked up, she didn't did some shit, it's him and his whole family on the goddamn profile picture. Or him and his girl together with matching denim shirts on, standing on some railroad tracks, looking stupid as shit. This nigga got a train conductor hat on. Oh, he got a side baby somewhere. Anyway. Did that touch nerve too? Okay. I feel like y'all judging me right here. This table. <laughs> I feel like y'all about to pray for me out there. We're going to intercede on his behalf, Lord. I promise to God. Shout out to all the lesbians in here. It is not a war between us, sis. Just want to shout out to all the studs. All the studs think it's a war between them and fat niggas. No, it's not, bitch. We don't care. Every time I meet a little stud chick, she just looking at my clothes. Where you get that shirt at, fat ass boy? None of your business, fat ass girl. Why don't you? <laughs> they be arrogant because they fat, but they get to pick a different dick out. Like, I got to roll with my factory dick. I got to roll straight factory part. They get to go in goddamn Starship. Let me get the platinum dick over there. Get the case and shit. Let me see. Now she got her dick on and Kroger with some gray sweats. <laughs> shit is cheating. <laughs> That shit is cheating. Anyway. Shout out to everybody who must in him. The only reason I said that, because every time somebody stank in the room, y'all be thinking it's me. I don't care who stank. Every club, maybe girl, girl, this Atlanta girl be like, girl, somebody bitch must as hell. I don't know who it is, but that fat boy is sweating. That'd be a good place to start the investigation. Like, bitch, I got baby powder everywhere. I'll punch you right down here. You know, big name, you gotta put that baby powder now. <laughs> Yeah, that punch in the ear will stop anything. Boy, you hit a nigga in the ear, they woo That's my favorite shit, boy. Ain't nothing like a bully you think he gonna whoop your ass and you just overhand this nigga ear. Pop! But that nigga cheat like a motherfucker! That's how I fight. I crack the nigga ear drum. Cause I can't let you get close to me, man. Like, I can't let Like, what if I got my kids with me? I'm about to fight somebody and them niggas just lift my titties up. Pop, pop. What the fuck I'm supposed to do? <laughs> Not even disrespectfully, just gently lift them up. Like, hey, um, stop. <laughs> That's how I fight studs. I almost got into it with a stud. You know, we just had, is it Pride Month still? Because you can't say nothing in Pride Month. They ain't punching your face. Pride Month, boy, they be having all kinds of events going on in Atlanta. I wandered into like a lesbian hangout or something. I don't know what the fuck. I, all I saw was a sign that said, Buffet. <laughs> I got excited, I was like, -doom, -doom, boom, boom. they got bread, like that's how I walk into buffets. <laughs> I walked in, and the crazy part was it was the week that I had shaved my beard off. I shaved my beard off, everybody in Atlanta think I'm a lesbian immediately. I'm, I got no beard, I walk in, the little host is disrespectful off the rip. Got my beard going, she tell me, oh, that little stud, cute as hell. Look, I'm like, bitch, I'm a boy, I punch you in your tits, who you talking to? <laughs> I 
I'm right. then this chick, I'm looking at, <laughs> I'm looking at the buffet, the chick jumping from me like, you looking at my girl, I knock your ass out. I was like, I was like, I was looking for to see if they had any more cantaloupe. <laughs> I'm gonna pay my money and ain't got no cantaloupe in there, motherfucker, man. <laughs> my favorite shit as an adult still is goddamn Publix chicken. You ever go to Publix, nigga? That's, that shit is the best. You remember when black folks found out about Publix chicken? When the lemon pepper whole chicken dropped, nigga? That shit was like 2007, nigga. We didn't even believe it. We was in line like Jordan's coming out. Like, hell no, nah, but they got a whole goddamn lemon pepper chicken down there. Dang. <laughs> Never had no lemon pepper breast before, then. You got me up. Best part about the public chicken ain't even the chicken. It's that shelf below the chicken with that King's Hawaiian bread on it. That shit, that yeah, boy. That is the cocaine of cars right there. I got a whole pack of them in my pocket right goddamn now. I open the mission like a pack of new book. I used to get the public chicken, but my wife used to like it before she stopped eating meat and stuff. But um, I used to get distracted when I when it'd be a hot one coming out the oven. I just get the chicken and leave and forget the whole grocery list. <laughs> I just ride home with one damn bag of chicken buckled in the seat, and just talking like, God damn, you smell good in here, shall we? Let me see what you feel like. I'm just <laughs> I'm digging in the bed. Ooh, you warm as shit, girl. I start eating the skin off that motherfucker. Like, damn, this shit good as hell. You should sit it by itself. I done ate all. I done lip reached another fourth time. Realized I done ate all the goddamn skin off the chicken. Like, I'm fuck. my wife just say how much she love the skin on the chicken. Think, nigga, think. I just panicked. And ate the whole chicken. Goddamn, I'm like, fuck it. She can't find this evidence. Threw the bag away at Quick Trip. <laughs> I appreciate y'all laughing too. Y'all got me on these hot ass french fry like too. I feel like the last hot dog in Quick Trip just turned. Like, ain't nobody gonna buy me, huh? Just me. I want the keto left. <laughs> she just rolled the floor and killed myself. I saw on the internet the other day, I saw a stud win a twerk contest. That's how I knew Jesus was coming back. She was <laughs> I was like, oh, that's it. The world over with. I'm talking about she went, she had the big jeans on, jersey, took that shit off, had little booty shorts on, she was on the roof of like a car wash, just going crazy. And then did a rebuttal video, because everybody was mad at her. She was like, y'all ho, get mad at me for twerking for a thousand dollars. I was like, damn, boy, it's deep as hell, for real. She's like, y'all ho be fucking for free and shit, talking about y'all studs. I was like, it's stud beef like that? Like, why do y'all care? Like, what would be the equivalent of a straight man doing that, like the... A gay band twerking on it. What's the equivalent of that? Like a super gay dude with nails and shit, like beating shit at you and Madden fellas? Huh? Like your gay nephew pulled up, like, plug the sticks up, fuck that shit. I heard you talking shit online. Plug the motherfucking sticks up off. You think it's a motherfucking game, bitch? <laughs> I know you ain't in cover too. Oh my god, bitch, you dead. I'm throwing the X all day. You lame as hell, uh, oh my god, sweet right, I'ma tell you all my play, cause you stupid and fuck. Nigga, beating your ass in man, nigga. <laughs> now you gotta go to his drag show now. <laughs> That's how you build black families. Everybody got a super gay nephew that used to play football, dude. <laughs> What did the nephew that was like a safety and shit that was going to college, he just come back from school like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life now. <laughs> Fuck! I thought you were going to do it. Nigga, 6'6". Six, six. Anyway. <laughs> my mom and dad are celebrating their 45th wedding anniversary. Y'all give it up for that shit. 45 years. That's black history right there. They weren't married the whole time, though. They got a divorce when I was a kid. You know, black folk get divorced and still be fucking. That shit used to piss me off. Cause my mama looked good. It was niggas still trying to date her, but they had like better gifts and better income than my dad. I was like, let's hold on, let's see what we're working out here. <laughs> nigga done brought me a BB gun and everything. Hold on, this nigga cut trees, sister. I'm getting smart with it too. She like ribs, uh, man. She like, bring her ribs next time. <laughs> 
your quail, your old fat ass self. Your brain, she like ribs, a lot of gristle and stuff. Give it to me, don't give it to me. <laughs> I'm the only one who was in my parents' wedding, nobody else? Yep. Fuck y'all, man. My parents got remarried, and I didn't want them to. I was mad as hell the way I was 14 years old. Cause they ain't, when you 14, my brother was like 12 or something. So they, it was just us in the wedding. It was like a dress up wedding in the church, but it was like us seven people in the wedding party. So I had to do so much shit. I was passing out programs and fucking serving food. I was the flower dude. I ain't no flower girl. I just, <laughs> I just had to hand out roses to everybody walking in hell, man. God damn. I just walking down the aisle. Hell, man. Shit. <laughs> anyway, I'll let y'all get back to it. It seems like y'all about to, everybody ready to go over to the other side and listen to some Montel Jordan and Kendrick Family Soul, Eric Roberson. <laughs> you ever go to somebody kick back and you think they're gonna be on some weed smoking trap music? As soon as you walk in, there, far away from here. Playing Kendrick and the Family Soul. I got weed on me. Anybody smoke? Where the smokers at? Smoking? Where y'all at? Normalized niggas who smoke. Black people got PTSD. Goddamn it! Especially living in cop. Don't clap in here. It's cop county police in here. Mm -mm. Shout out to the niggas who do smoke though. My daddy smoke weed, but this nigga he can't handle the new the young nigga strong weed. Anybody, you ever get some strong weed to an old nigga? He t you trying to tell him, hey, slow down. He done. Both of them, by all these, about their whole table, about to break out. I'm sorry, I know y'all about to bust out. I'm so scared of this stage, y'all don't even understand. Is this the box that the turntables come in? I'm standing on. Like, what is this? This is, <laughs> this is how my casting gonna look. Because I'm gonna be this big, nigga. This a big ass stage worth a box. That's why I gotta lose weight, man, because I need Paul Bearers. I know if I got a bar, it's gonna be four niggas like, but I can't be in that nigga shit. Hell no, nah, boy. Mm -mm. <laughs> I got sciatica, boy. Hell no. Nah. I got at least one bodybuilding home nigga, home buddy to help me out. My nigga Fergo to get my ass. I know he'll put me on a hand truck like a refrigerator and just kick that bit. Push that motherfucker. <laughs> kick that bit down still. <laughs> <laughs> nigga just shimmy me through the goddamn church door. We can do it sideways. <laughs> that is a great joke. Anyway, I'm killing the people in the corner. I hope y'all get some pussy because niggas ain't listening. Shout out to the niggas over here talking about a real estate deal that almost went through. I hate y'all little side conversations. So the house was about to close. And then get it. I like. <laughs> Only, reason, only thing I missed before the pandemic, I missed going to ratchet clubs and just, I like I like super ratchet clubs, but the thing I like to do in there is just sit down and drink and watch old ass men in there. That's the funniest shit ever, watching them. You ever see an old ass man in like Central Station somewhere? Like he, I'm talking about so old you want to ask him like 65, 75. He's so old you want to check on him. <laughs> you like, are you all right, sir? You want to use my phone? He like, get the fuck away from me. I got Molly on me. I'm trying to get on these bitches. <laughs> He's like, damn, Mr. Clarence has an agenda. Because <laughs> old dudes are funny as hell. Every old dude in here, every old dude over the age of 65 got at least one pill you got to take every day or your ass is dead. Every old dude got at least one pill you got to take once a day or your ass is dead. All y'all got a blue tray on y'all sink with the letters of the days of the week on each slot. If you miss one of them goddamn slots, it's a wrap. 
You almost walked out of the house today. Uh oh, I almost forgot to say, like not the made it to SU. Turn the truck around, Mabel. <laughs> Old nigga in the young people club with a fanny pack full of prescription pills. Asking the 18 year old waitress for old man drinks she never heard of. Did you know the, the waitress is young as hell in them clubs? Remember when we was younger? The most we would do, most of y'all is probably around my age, a little bit older or whatever. Most of the shit we would do party would be drinking or smoking weed. That's it. That's the height of the turn up. That's the most we would do. You a badass if you drink or smoke weed. That's it. That's We like, ooh, we doing it. Now they different. They take Percocet, Xanax, drink lean, smoke Kush. <laughs> And all the, all in the same meal. You like, damn, you gonna drink up my whole check? Goddamn you. The whole check is in the cup. 18 year old waitress see the old man, old man asking her for drinks she never heard of. He 75. He wanna be taken care of. He's talking about excuse me, darling. Let me get a uh uh. Let me get a sell at sell, yes Lord. Let me get a secret sell at sell, yes Jesus. She, <laughs> she 18, she like, where the fuck is that? Hey Siri, what's a cell man cell? Siri. What the fuck is a cell man cell, Siri? This nigga get mad. Bitch, give me something to take this goddamn pill with, bitch. If she don't take that pill by 10.30, his ass is dead. She get excited. She see him taking a pill. She's like, oh, let me get one of them pills, mister. Is you rolling? Bitch, I might be. Ah! What's up, Snap? Mr. Clarence got the pills on deck. What? You see my section popping in there, ho? Y'all come spend some money with your girl. Y'all nigga lame and fuck. Follow me, keep up my journey. Bye bye. <laughs> Bitch, you're going crazy on Snapchat. He give her one of the pills. 20 minutes later, she in the bathroom, boo booing like shit. <laughs> she on the toilet. She don't know what's going on. She talking to Snapchat. Oh my God, Snapchat. I have been boo booing for approximately. <laughs> Four minutes straight. I don't know what's going on. I think I'm dying now, Chad. Y'all follow me, keep on my story. I... <laughs> her best friend who the bartender done came and checked on her. She in the bathroom fixing her makeup. Just she's like, girl, my stomach hurts. She's like, bitch. You shouldn't have took that stool softener from that old ass man, bitch. That was not no Xanax, bitch. You was so dumb. You so goddamn pill thirsty. That was not no fucking Percocet. You thirsty bitch. You, <laughs> that shit was like eating a million bowls of oatmeal, bitch. That was straight fiber. My granddaddy take them big ass brown pills, bitch. I took a big brown pill. That shit was like eating a million bowls of oatmeal, bitch. You finna do everything you ever ate in life. I'm about to go get your phone charged. I can't believe this. Your son got a program tomorrow. Oh my God. You is so irresponsibility. I have to change my circle. God, you're stressing me. <laughs> it's the irresponsibility for me. Like, shut the fuck up. But, uh, y'all had a good time so far? Was it cool? Did I do a good job as a headliner? I don't know. Just sitting here trying to get my jokes off after the pandemic. I've been telling jokes at the kitchen table and Zoom meetings and dumb shit. You know how stupid it is doing a comedy show for a college at your kitchen table? My kids running around with no shirts on and shit. This shit is stupid, man, but I appreciate being alive. Anybody appreciate being alive? I appreciate being alive, bro. The people got there and dead and fought. That was a lie yesterday. For real, man. Like my cousin, I got a cousin that just got saved. Anybody got a cousin that saved? Like a, anybody got that ratchet cousin that you love to death? Yes. Ain't she the food stamp plug? They usually the food stamp plug cousin. Don't you love that plug? Everybody love the food stamp plug cousin. You love her so much, you just keep a regular rapport with her. You call and check in with her once a week just to keep the food stamp line clear. And if you want to use the car, you never ask for the car. You just call and tell her what you're doing today. What's up, cuz? I think I'm gonna put some meat on the grill. She like, you know I got the car. You like, what? <laughs> Look at God. Look how the Lord do for me. <laughs> she got like eight kids, but her food stamp car got like 9,600 on it, goddamn. I saw my cousin buy 87 colors with her EBT card, boy. That shit was not a game. <laughs>
That cousin right there recently just got saved, y'all, and I was so happy for her. Anybody ever had somebody ratchet in your family go start going to church under the blessing? It's dope, man. Like, I was excited for Thank you. Only three people care about their cousin. So, one black man. He's like, yes. All the women, like, and so, like, I got a church too, the boat. Women, y'all don't even be liking women. How the fuck y'all want us to like women? <laughs> I was clapping up for a woman. Y'all, like, why? Because. That's how every woman looked at me, but it ain't my cousin. Like, why would I be happy for her? You know what I'm saying? Just seeing the Christ in her heart. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, she. <laughs> you ever see somebody who just gets saved, but they don't know how to talk church yet? They be excited, they got the fire, but they don't got the vocab yet. I saw it the other day, I was like, how you doing to me? And she was like, she is blessed as fuck. Yes, I can. I'm blessed as fuck, empowered to prosper. I need fuck niggas. Rebuking satin struggles. I'm like, that is not Satan. That is the dude from Sparkle. What the fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm glad for though? I'm glad family reunion is coming back in, in style, man, because we ain't got, we ain't had a, we need a good family to get together. Cause you know, we skipped spade season last year. Now we get spade season. What is spade players that makes you noise? Know spade players. Nigga. Spades is so serious in our community. Like, we don't talk to each other if you fuck up in spades, right? My dad ain't talked to my aunt in 12 years. Cause she reneged. This is a true story. I, for real. My, my dad wouldn't even let my aunt get on the Zoom the other day, last Thanksgiving, nigga. I, I said, Dad, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tap in on Wanda. He told my fuck Wanda, the bitch cutting clubs. I was like, nigga. She can cut in, but don't tell her to cut the screen off, though. She can just do audio. I'm like, shut up. Shut the fuck up by this damn spades. If you renege, we don't got no more use for you in life. That's like a sign that you ain't shit as a person. If you renege, you see the boy, man. God damn. Niggas will break up a renege forever. Do it one time. The guy was seven. I ain't know what I was doing. Everybody got that one aunt that plays spades better than everybody. That finger wave aunt. You know the aunt with all the finger waves? She got all the rings on that she own, goddamn. She got a ring on the top part of her finger right here. That shit stuck. Can't nobody get that bitch off. <laughs> that shit, a name plate that say Junior right there. That's your uncle locked up. <laughs> we done got so serious in my house. My mama done outlawed spade. We can't even 